Hi everybody, today I'd like to talk about uh, the Bitcoin mining parliament uh, and why I think it is part of um, governance for Bitcoin Cash. Now, we recently had a really awesome live stream uh, with about a dozen uh, Bitcoin Cash builders on the topic of Bitcoin Cash governance. And um, the whole idea that Bitcoin Cash has market-based governments uh, governance is um i to completely agree with that you know like i uh before i i thought that maybe a uh like a foundation or something could add value uh but these days i don't think so i don't think so uh you know and as a, a market anarchist an agorist a voluntarist uh you know i think that the whole world should have market-based governments governance I think, uh, you know, things like dispute resolution, uh, security, uh, these things should be provided by the marketplace, uh, not by nation states, which rule by uh, aggression. So those will, of course, I'm not saying that, you know, a foundation, a centralized foundation would be aggression. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that I do overall generally uh, believe in the idea of market-based governance and I think that really it is the most appropriate uh, path forward for Bitcoin Cash. And really, it's always been here. And in fact, if we look at what's been happening uh, with Bitcoin ABC recently, market-based governance is what has uh, essentially uh, caused the ABC proposal to be rejected, uh, resoundingly rejected. So, but I want to talk about the BMP, the Bitcoin Mining Parliament. So... Why do I support it? Well, first of all, it enables miners to speak uh, with a perfect signal to noise ratio. Uh, it enables us to know what the miners want, uh, not just pool operators, but individual miners, because their actions, their speech and their votes are correlated, uh, coordinated with the amount of hash rate that they have evidenced uh, by creating Bitcoin Cash blocks over the last 28 days. Um, some people say that, uh, you know, the BMP doesn't really have any enforcement mechanism. Yeah, right. That's true. You know, but the fact is that the BMP creates pre-consensus, right? So I find that valuable, you know, like I don't think we need, I don't think it's a binary situation where either we have one all-encompassing solution that is absolutely binding or we have nothing. I think that uh, solutions that enable the creation of pre-consensus are helpful. Uh, the BMP is basically just a minor signaling, but with greater precision via chat and via uh, polling. Uh, whereas, you know, the current Coinbase signaling is just a few characters in the Coinbase. They can't really say that much. Yeah, it's very helpful, but it would be nice if it was a, a little bit more, if they could speak a little more precisely. Um, because, for example, you know, unclear signaling or imprecise signaling can actually uh, open the path to um, anti-BCH uh, forces or generally destructive forces or to just misunderstandings. You know, for example, the fact that the coin, uh, the, the, the miners uh, are signaling for BCHN, probably there was no other way to do it other than the signal for BCHN. But uh, that permitted people to turn this into ABC versus BCHN, this, this situation that we're in now, this conflict. And uh, that's, not, that's, that's not an accurate depiction. Um, it's Amori versus all of Bitcoin Cash, basically, um, you know, except for a few people. Uh, so I think the BMP can provide more certainty, more, more clarity, uh, more precision. Um, the BMP in general can provide us more uh, certainty as to what is going to happen or what people want to happen. So, you know, if we had had the BMP uh, adopted prior to uh, the, I think it was August 6th announcement by uh, ABC about this new IFP version 4, um, then we, miners could have immediately 
within moments, really, uh, if they if they wanted, signaled uh, clearly their support or lack thereof for the proposal. And we wouldn't have had to endure weeks of uncertainty waiting for um, people to convince miners via informal channels to signal for BCHN. Um, you know, we need more communications, not less. The BMP is a tool for communications. Um, it can create, I think, the more communication we have, the less misunderstanding we, ha we can have, or the harder it is for misunderstanding to happen. And that can generate less, uh, more calm and less emotion, less upset among people. Because we, you know, we're, this is the blockchain and all, but the human factor is unavoidable, especially at this early stage. Um, I would say that BMP votes are meaningful because BMP votes are the same weight as signaling. So they're just better done, you know? So I've seen some people say, oh, BMP votes aren't really meaningful. Well, they're as meaningful as, as, as Coinbase signaling and they can be even more meaningful because more things can be said with more precision. Um, so uh, those are uh, basically the reasons why I support the, the BMP. You know, even though it's non-binding, it's still a piece of the puzzle in market-based governance. And uh, one thing that many people fail to recognize is that it's resistant to outside interference because the BMP only operates off of the last 28 days of Bitcoin Cash blocks. So you have to mine Bitcoin Cash for 28 days in order to have, um, in order to, it's some time, you have to mine at least one block in the last tw uh, 28 days in order to have any participation whatsoever. And then your participation and your actions are marked with the, um, the, the proportional amount of hash rate represented by how many blocks that you've mined over the last 28 days. Um, so yeah, it's not the full thing. Uh, it's not the full, I mean, it's not a full solution, right? But it's part of the solution. We need more communications, not less. We need more coordination. We need to hear from more people. And um, yeah, so that's why I support the, the Bitcoin mining parliament, the BMP. Uh, so interested to hear your perspective. Let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.